I guess we'll come back to you some more Star Wars Intro Worlds. Pod launched. Moving to target. I can have an assist them. Back on the Black Sun Freighter. Some Check that ship. thing is exploding somewhere. Oh good. Check that ship. Seriously, what is exploding? <laughs> Check that ship. Ah, the engines. Okay. So he's going about doing his thing. Engines are gone, so he's not going anywhere. Pretty sure that the uh, Marines are on board. So realistically, that will just be a uh, Free crater for us. As long as our guys don't destroy it. That was a bad move. Stay sharp. Uh, not all gone, okay. We lost an arc. How could he jump through? Okay, I thought he was gonna wreck our door here. So, other news. Got not it. much. Uh, Morningstar 3. So, the Commerce Guild have been Preparing launching a pretty breach. serious attack. Bit of peace and quiet. Falling back. Kind of. Yeah, the uh, Commerce Guild have actually launched a massive attack on the Republic through Morningstar 4. Falling back. Ended up destroying all their defense platforms, so I said, screw it, uh, I'll build one on my own. And now I own the system. And we also have our Wharf still building here. That is going to set us up to attack into Heretic's End. So yeah, we're doing okay. There you go, there's another factory gun. Pretty sure we had the Defender in the last episode, our stream. We found something out here. Ah, they blew it up. Sully, you weren't supposed to blow it up. And the boarding to be very um, hit or miss. Very hit or miss. So our shipyard is working at analyzing a couple of ships. I bought two Genie Ocean cruisers and got that. Yeah, so we can actually now fully outfit a Genie Ocean cruiser. It's good. Gives us a bunch of options. We actually have two options for the turbo lasers. And two options for the regular lasers. Ah. There'll be more DPS. I'll actually go with that. Requesting immediate backup. 
And of course we need engines for the immobilizer, so we need to capture... I suppose even a Vindicator or something, something along this line of ship. We need to capture that. We're currently analyzing two Dreadnoughts. I just bought them at minimum spec. So hopefully we get the hull and the engines off of that. Not too much else going on. Um, I bought more arcs. Where were the arcs going? Can't even remember. God. Were they for Sully? They were. I'll add four more to that group. We have another defender here docked up. Interceptor and two TIE advanced. Uh, Plumber Smack is our dreadnought. We have the fleet kind of holding here. Blasting Vengeance, Orbital Wind, SMG, him and Ispacock. Um, this really annoys me. Who's requesting backup and who's not impressed? A number of fights at the gate here uh, between Corporate Security and Commerce Guild. If he netted us our Looser Hulk, I think it's still. Yeah, it's still waiting. <laughs> Could be a while. So, Sully just probably lost all his Marines because he failed that boarding operation. Get him down here and get more Marines. Uh, how is Warble Wind on Marines? Could do with some more. Oh, he, oh he's over. Yeah, we'll hold off on that for now, because he's over here. Uh, once that gets built. Do I have a habitation module on it? No, but we'll add one. I had more cross sections on it, but I obviously don't. Pull them on there. Have module here. Confirm that. Manage resources 82%. Need a couple hundred thousand more. That's no problem. Still won't be able to re fit you there actually now that I'm thinking about it. Won't allow us to upgrade a large ship at a wharf. I yeah, meant the commerce guild could really help us out and that would be great. That'd be great if they did that. Soften up the Empire for us.
Bounty Hunter Guild are in the area. Still haven't actually tried out the ship. do what we've been doing for a little while and uh jump beacon is mists or jump beacon unholy retribution we're gonna head down to the sacred relic again oh empire has come through with a couple of gazantes That's right, I had the Delta 7 go around and drop some uh, satellites, advanced satellites. Damn, there's a beat up victory too there. Ooh. ASD1, Quasar, Vindicator, pick that up, that would be sweet. Draw from battle at 48% hull. Who the hell hit you? Middle of your own territory. Entering system. Sacred relic. Yeah, at least this way we'll have a decent idea of what's going on. The order are mounting a defensive overrun. Means the Commerce Guild are in there. Good. I don't think the Munificent is going to win that. Uh, this dude is coming right at us. Where did he appear from? Munificent is going to get chewed apart. That squad is coming after us. Entering system. Sacred relic. Jump beacon. Ias mists. I see the jump beacon. I want to see what that large parader is. We'll join in on the attack. Who knows? Maybe they'll bail out. <laughs> hey, Mr. Creed.
Yeah, they're really liking us today. We were hit. Those engines trying to spill up. He's half full of cargo too. Didn't even notice that. Trying to boost away. That's more resources the order won't be getting. Scoop up all the loot that we can. There's the cargo too, right? Container. Advanced electronics. Container. 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 Why are they buying advanced electronics? Oh, that for turrets. And to build turrets on their stations. Uh, have we got anyone doing nothing that can pick up all that stuff? It's half a freighter's worth of advanced electronics. Nice little amount sitting there. Oh. Actually do. Yeah, it was the mod updated. Um it's on patch point five five now. But don't know when the last time you played was. Uh yeah, there's a couple of notable additions. Hey Weeboo. How are you doing? It was one of the big additions. Both uh, literally and metaphorically. He's the Lizard Hulk. But the last update it hasn't been updated uh, in the last week or two. Are you doing fine? Good to hear, man. Uh, no real 
plan this evening. You know, in rigor, we don't need that. Yeah, so I dropped a bunch of satellites around the place to see what's going on. But, uh, oh, nice, yeah, it's like silicon carbide or something. Oh, that's an SD2. That is another ISD2, which is about to die. Scratch that, has died. Um, Autopilot engaged. Let's start flying over to our fleet. Entering system, highest mists. Ooh, the Vindicator. I'm gonna upgrade your mining fleet so that you can expand your station and save up. Try and build a second branch of stations. Yeah, that's pretty much the game loop, really, yeah. Uh, no, as far as I'm aware, they have not. If you do a custom start, you're probably better off just to get the money and buy the ships that you want. Sharp indeed. might be engaging this. Because you need to save up for a couple of large cargo ships so I can use the energy trade station. Yeah. The lockbox. Entering system. Grand exchange. Um gonna save the game. The order is strong with force, true, but this is the Empire. <laughs> and then you can start with your military elites. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good way to go about it. Get the economy going first. I'll have a look at it real quick actually before we order this boarding action. Just a couple of basic Tokyo fleets. <laughs> that's that's very basic, yeah. Get the capital carrier. As you can kind of see with my economy and stuff, I'm I'm very kind of basic in the stations I build. I don't go nuts. Some people just go nuts on them. Compared to the Asgard, eh. The Asgard's alright. The vanilla Asgard is okay. The problem with it... Um... Well, in my mind, there's not enough medium turrets and stuff on it. You'd want, you'll want the Tokyos. Yeah, you have to get your own blueprint, yeah. Boarding is fun when it works, but uh, I don't know. Especially if you're using like fighter squadrons and carriers and stuff. I, I, I don't know. It's very dodgy. We're pause there. Thirty for station killing. Yeah, that, that's pretty much true. Um, so he's a little bit 
distracted. So hopefully that hard cell will be around. These guys will engage. Oh, that's a phantom. Right, so we can go in here and like, we can capture the Vindicator, but I'm going to try and capture this. Uh, but first, I'm going to go here. About 20 million, what do we get? Another 23 million from our stations. Two and a half from Advanced Electronics, three from Claytronics. The Wharf made 9 million. Prepared only made 18, uh, 900k. Anyway, let's confirm that. Back to the map. Uh, that's what I want, right? Yeah. Going to board. Uh, we'll have a decent amount of marines from everything. Uh, the one fleet with an Asgard or quite an I-class ship, but sure. Be a Tokyo fleet and one Asgard. Yeah. Um, you can take down an eye really well, not really well, but easily with um, fighters. Fighters will do the job pretty damn well. Uh, Orbital Wind. Please don't die, guys. This is kind of a suicide mission for one or two of you. Orbital is going to get in first. That's going to be the problem, right? Lasting Vengeance, goddamn. Going in to disable. Alright, do I have everyone? Three hundred twenty out of four hundred twenty-six. Um, it has a lot of turrets. And fight, I suppose fighters in the in the base game are not as strong. All right, we'll try this out. Um, if boarding goes really terribly, I am going to reload. Yeah, wrong button. Disengaged. Why is autopilot disengaged? Oh yeah, definitely man, definitely keep it on monitor for your first one. Okay, we already lost an N1. Fenders down. Another N1 down. Here's the problem with Tekken out of system combat. He is hitting every single one of those fighters. And we're sending in a lot of fighters. Anyway. Entering round exchange four. I'm probably just going to reload. I'm going to play this through and see how it is. We're going to reload. I'm not going to do the boarding action until I'm in system. We'll do a comparison and see how much we lose. Like we're lose we're going to lose half our fighters before we even get there. Or our capital ships even get there. Every unauthorized kill is a little, um, the subsystem. I'm hoping that the hyenas are getting their torpedoes off. Like, look at that.
entering system. 18 billion. Marinas, vultures, bombers. It's okay. I don't even want to look at it on the map. <laughs> Big gaggle. But look at that, that's not right. I know he'd have done well against those fighters, but nah. Nah, we'll, we'll, we'll do this in system. Like I said, we'll fight it through, see how it goes. But that's. that's unacceptable losses. I'm not gonna be doing any big fights out of system. It's not like they're all TIE fighters or... Entering system. Morning star. These are defenders getting wiped out and N1s and stuff. The vultures, hyenas, no problem. Go in and see what state the IST is in. Entering Morning Star Three. Ball. Oh, the ship's ball up and going to direct fire. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Red now is just sitting back there because he has nothing to board with. Pods is right. Verbal is under attack. Uh, neutron Sarkers are stuck, they do. Another thing I'd like them to start out, just in general. 
Um, they're boosting into battle. They're all boosting into battle. They have no shields when they get here. How do I do this third person in general? You mean like just hit F2 or... Werble is dead. Oh yeah, it, it does look amazing. Not how I want that fight to go. Not how I want that fight to go at all. Uh, what date is today? It is the 8th, so that's the one. No, but that's how that would go. Out of system is just shocking. Why not a lost whirlwind? Out of system, maybe. But to lose all those fighters, all those fighters. Uh, this time we're gonna get the ships to fly over when we get in system. We'll get them to fly to a location a little bit underneath the Star Destroyer. I don't think capital ships should have boost at all. Not needed, I don't think. Anything above a uh, well mm, fighter, anything above a medium, shouldn't have boost. If it could be disabled, that'd be great. If I could find a way to disable it for L and XL ships, I would do it. Recharge time is sucks, but like as you saw there, at four capitals boosting over to the fight. And that's how the AI works, that they jump in at a range and then they boost. Oh. Um, yeah, I have not given the order. Autopilot, disengage. Hey, uh, there's... there's there's a lot of things they should do. What I want to do then is I want to order them to jump in a bit closer. Entering Grand Exchange for do the same thing with the fighters except we're going to be in systems that are going to do a lot better and they're going to disable the ISD for the main part
We might get Warblewind to directly attack the Vindicator. The Vindicator is a tough little nut. I get him to board the Vindicator actually. Get the Dreadnought to support him. have our ISD go up against their ISD. Entering system 18 billion. I have the Providence and the ISD going against the their ISD. Good uh, have the shielding to withstand it, especially with disabled for the most part. Get over there, we'll save, and then we'll try and do it. You open your upgrade your mining fleet, they can handle two compu just Oh yeah, man. It's all scalable. I think I used to put six modules on a station. We'll get into Morningstar 3 and then we'll make a bit of a plan. Seem to be regrouping. It's 18k ore and 18k silicon per hour per module. Yep. More miners. <laughs> Keep an eye on your miners. Um, the CAC will start attacking soonish. Get drawn to mining activity. Entering system. Morning star. Of course, this is uh, one of our systems now. I said the Commerce Guild uh, came through and decided to wreck a bunch of stuff, and we'll take it. So at the end of the last stream, um, we went through into Heretic's End, saw the fleet that that was part of. This is our little fleet here. Oh, they are coming this way. A fighter came over this way. Another victory two came in. Got no real damage. When we entered that fight, he'd lost all his large turrets. He lost a lot of his uh, medium turrets. Kind of what we want. Oh boy, I was way. Yeah, stop chasing.
Let's speed up time, let our fighters come back for a second. We'll have everyone ready to go soon. That ISD is not moving anyway. Oh, he did. Okay. We're going in against the station. That's going to be good for us. That station will wreck them. No. Uh, speeding up time is the SETA device. If you go into um, any trader, you'll see if you come out of the elevator on the left, there's a crafting bench and a lot of the the little containers you get from combat uh, drop components to craft a SETA device, S-E-T-A, and that speeds up time. Um, they made it the you had to craft it in X4, use the habit. Right, let's save. I only have four torpedoes left. See if we can pinch the Star Destroyer between us and the station. I feel like over 100 or more mining and trade ships and 200 or more military ships. Yeah, sounds about right. So... We don't have to worry about the Vindicator anymore because he is just going to get destroyed by that station. So SMG is going to jump, try and get to here. Which I'm hoping means they'll actually travel drive to about there. Verbal. You're quicker, so you can go over to this side. The Harrower, straight down the center. With the Lasting Vengeance. Sully is not in the system, and then... Plummer is going to defend Wordle. No, he's going to attack with Wordle. They go. Once they land, we're going to deploy all the fighters against the ISD. Let's see, the Harrow is the slowest of them. Right, let's see where they land. Oh, what happened there? Did you collide? No, they're all stopping at range. Why are you all stopping at range? I need to pinch this guy now. Okay, we're, we're going to pause. We're going to... We're just going to order everyone to do this. Hmm. Save a lot. What is this group? This is the Interceptors.
the wall. And take a minute, but I want to see if this works better. Alright, just disable all, so that's SMG. Orbital Wind, I'm going to leave your fighters on intercept. And yours. And then we'll get the defenders. Oh, so he's in a completely different system, so that makes no sense. We'll get these defenders. Going in there, disable all. You're on attack with, so that's grand. You're on intercept, we'll leave that with the bombers. And we're going to jump straight over underneath all these ships to hopefully get a nice view of the launch. Cool. We haven't given a board action yet. Ah, they're all separated. Yes, these engines are out and now i'm just going to give this order do this 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 board action target the engines the engines are already gone they're very strong very strong so that we're not waiting on any birds to be destroyed though they should all be gone. The last of vengeance. So, 345 out of 426 that we can send in. Might be a loss. Oh, like green wise? Yeah, possibly. If it is, it is. I don't mind that. But I don't want to lose, like, all of these fighters and whirlwind for nothing. We're just dodging those turrets. Okay, one of our studies went through her pickles choice for some reason. We're taking hits. Now, 
course, they did make it a little while ago that um, on the likes of the ISD, you can't destroy all the turrets, so the anti-fighter turrets will still be there. Some of them, anyway. Pretty sure. But his main weapons on this side are gone. Is good. Just need all these dudes to come in and launch marines. bunch of interceptors that's perfectly all right hyenas vultures interceptors all very much replaceable like see the difference though um Oh yeah, ISD is going to be destroyed. Uh, it's going to be destroyed. Do I call back all the fighters? I could get all those fighters to go back. If I remove all orders there, most of them will go back, but that's going to hold up these ships. Uh, I think we need to do it the cheesy way to get an ISD. Also, I'm curious. Fortunate. Uh, do you need to start a new game for the update? No. Uh, sorry, it depends which which version you're going from. If you're going from 0.54 up to 0.55, then no, you don't. That's really unfortunate. Look at all the escape pods. A lot of that crew jumped out. Defense platform. Hey, at least you can see there the difference between um, out of system and in system combat for fighters. Entering system. Heretics end. chat was great so she wasn't talking to me that was a serious 
That's a nice sight. System. Morning star. Hold on, let's do that again. Entering system. Heretics in. Entering system. Morning star. Okay. Sorry, I just wanted that shot. Oh yeah, look, now you come and help. Wait, the ISD is actually firing at it. We can hit a satellite at what, about 12 kilometers to the ISD. Fair play. Oh, that's right, the Commerce Guild and the Rebels are at war, so there'll be a bit more fighting here. So on the plus side, I would have had a Raider Corvette docked and everything here in the victory. That is the ISD. Our ISD is pushing theirs out of the way. Excellent. Right, so um, let's get everyone moved back. Firstly, you all the orders. We found something out here. And now we'll remove all orders on you. Awaiting orders. We go back here. Then Orbel will also get back here for now. And Kispercock back there too. But you guys all go back there. We're gonna board SMG. next door and see if we can um, do stuff. Let me just double check this before I do the going next door. No, don't want to do that, do we? He has 55 marines. Seventy-one. Remove all orders from you. Uh, our defender is docked up, so we can just teleport over. 
And then SMG can just fly over here. Well, that poor construction vessel. Any trouble with the Xenon? Um, personally, no. But they are around. They're doing a lot of damage here in Hatikwa's Choice. Something we might deal with. Well, that neutron star cruiser is just trying to get out of here. Um, we're all armed. Wow, well, we only have ten fighters left. Okay. Like butter. 